Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, what I'm going to show you is how I use Mem to plan out my days. A few weeks ago, I started experimenting with a Mem-only workflow to see how much of my time I could spend in Mem and avoid using any other apps and hopefully reduce context shifts and improve my productivity. And if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check out our free course on how to take smart notes. I'll include a link in the description below. And now, let's get to the video. The reason I want to do this video is a few weeks ago, I actually started to experiment with a MEM-only digital workflow to see how much time I could spend in a MEM and limit my use of all other tools and apps. And for a while, I'd been using a different task management tool, a different calendar tool, but I wanted to see how far I could get with just using MEM. And so I wanted to do this video about how I actually plan my days in MEM and you'll see here that I typically keep everything in the inbox, but you can see here, this video that I'm creating is actually in my inbox. And the first step that I think is really important is that you use analog to plan and digital to prioritize. Now, why is that? The reason that I think it's really powerful to use analog tools to plan your days, but digital tools to prioritize them is because of the fact that in a digital tool, there are no constraints. You can add an endless amount of tasks to any to-do list app, mem included, there's just no end to it. And so as a result, because you have no constraints, it's really hard to separate what's important from what's not or what's a high priority from what's not. And you can just keep adding endless amounts of tasks to your to-do list. So I use a, a Remarkable tablet, but even a physical notebook is just as good for this. I like the Remarkable because of the fact that it rivals a physical notebook in terms of the feel. It doesn't have any distractions on it. It's not like an iPad. But what you want to do is plan outside of your tools. Uh, that you use. Ideally, you want to make your plan for the day outside of MEM, and then you want to put it inside of MEM. Now, this is a matter of personal preference, but I just find that when you're using something like a notebook, it's distraction-free by default, and so you can't get distracted by anything. And then the other is you're also constrained by default to one page, uh, particularly if you use methods like the bullet journal method, and it really forces you to prioritize. So that's the first step in how I plan my days in MEM. Now let's go into the task creation part, which is probably the most important part. So typically what I will do is I will create two sets of tasks. So when you go into your tasks, you can see here that you have daily tasks, but I also have project related tasks. So for example, you can see right here, I have the Maximize Your Output YouTube channel, and I have other things right here that are related to different projects. But typically what I'll do, and you can actually create a daily mem if you wanted to do this, and I'd actually turned off the daily mem for a little while because I just wasn't using it as much as I wanted to. And I didn't really like having uh, a mem created every day automatically, but I probably will turn it back on after this. But what I'll do is I'll just create a mem for the day. And what I'll do is I'll just put the things that I know I want to do on that day that are not necessarily related to a project, but they might be related to an area of responsibility. So for example, read 100 pages, finish up a draft of a blog post that I'm working on, about why AI will have a big impact on creative work. And I do like to bi-directionally link them. And then the other thing I'll do is I will actually go into my projects and look at what related tasks are here. And the nice thing about planning your days this way is in addition to having two sets of tasks for both projects and areas of responsibility or daily tasks, like admin things like call a doctor, or make an appointment, whatever, is that you actually can time block or time box inside of MEM. So you can say, okay, I'm going to do this thing at this time. And while it doesn't necessarily have the capabilities of a calendar where you can drag a task and make it take up a certain amount of time, what you can do here, for example, is you can say, okay, I'm going to do this at 11 or let's say 1 p.m. today. And then what I can do is I can say, I'm going to do this at 2 p.m. today. And so then what ends up happening is you give yourself a time block to work on each individual task. Now, again, this is a matter of personal preference, and you're probably not going to end up staying within this time block anyways, but it's a good way to figure out what you should tackle first and what you should uh, do second. It's basically a good way to prioritize. The final step that is really important for me, at least, is I actually put the things I'm going to work on for a particular day inside of my inbox. Now, why do I do that? Let me show you. If I go to recents or added by me, there's all these different things, probably thousands and thousands of notes. But what I want to do is focus on the handful of mems that I need to use for this day. 
And in this case, it's just these couple of notes that are right here that I'm going to be working on. So for example, if I have a landing page that I want to work on, let's just say I put on the Creator Academy landing page. Landing page copy, what I would do is I would say, okay, this is something I'm going to work on today. And if I go back, it's there in my inbox. And the thing I like about the inbox is that it basically allows you to focus only on the handful of things that are important at the moment, as opposed to getting distracted by all the other mems. The beautiful thing, however, about mem is that even if you do get distracted, you only get distracted by the knowledge inside of your own second brain. And what do I mean by that? The thing that I think is really great about this is that it gives you this ability to follow your creativity where it flows. So often when we're writing, when we're thinking about something, we might write one note. And then as you know, we're writing one note, we might realize that note is connected to other notes, or we might just capture an idea inside of a bi-directional link. And we can actually you know, recreate the thought process. So for example, this note was something that was sparked by a concept called bot-based empowerment that I read about in this book, Human Plus Machine. And one of the notes I created was something about learning to create bots that work for you. And again, that was an idea I had for something while I was working on this note. And that's one of the things that I love about MEM is that it really does let you follow your creativity where it flows, even if you have your entire workflow planned out for the day. So just to recap, the way you wanna do this is to start the day by planning analog, as I said, then you want to create two sets of tasks. You have your daily tasks examples. Those typically are the ones that are going to go into your daily mem. As you can see here, none of these are particularly related to a project except for this one right here. And then you're going to have your project related tasks. And that's going to depend on what the status of that project is and when it needs to get done, etc. And then the final piece of that is to use your inbox. And I've done a video on how to use your inbox to prioritize what's important. You can also use favorites if you wanted to, if you wanted to prioritize what's important so that way you can just go there. So some people I know actually like to do this. They just keep things that are top of mind at their favorites, on their favorites. And the idea behind this really is to reduce the cognitive load on your brain so you're not distracted by all the other notes that you have inside of MEM. And you only focus on the handful of things that you want to focus on for that day. And that's the basic overview about how I plan my days in MEM. I'd love to hear from you about how you're using them to plan your days, where you're running into trouble, and what things you think could be better. <clears throat> and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.